Luke chapter 4, verses 1 through, well, all the way down where it talks about Jesus returning out of the wilderness. What am I referring to? I'm referring to when Jesus got tempted by the devil. Um, and the Bible speaks of us to be more Christ-like, to walk like Christ. Walk, pick up our cross and follow him. Pick up our cross and follow him. What does that mean? It means to pick up everything that we have, our past, everything, carry our crucifixion, put it on our shoulders and walk as he walked, talk as he talked, live as he lived. The devil filled him with temptation. He was hungry, hadn't eaten for 40 days, 40 nights. The devil said, turn those rocks into bread. Jesus probably smiled and said, here's how his re reply was. Man can't live on bread, and lo bread alone. Got to live, live by the word of God. As I read, in the, read this and dug it deeper into it and prayed about it, and it's a short time that I got given this and you know, it's kind of a quick read, but when you're in the spirit, a quick read can be in, be pretty deep. God gave me a message to give you all. Someone out there is suffering bad, very bad from a temptation. I don't know what's tempting you or what the devil is using in the temptation, but, but I promise you this. You can suffer through it. God will give you whatever you need to, to get through this. And it's not easy. But the satisfaction and the glory that God has for you in the end of this, it's so great. Take take time, go to Luke chapter 4, read, and start reading. Reading about, about the journey through the desert with, with, God, with Jesus and the devil. Because when that Holy Ghost is right there with you, it means Jesus is right there with you. That means God's right there with you. And they will God will never leave you, nor will He forsake you. God bless you. Each and every one of y'all is watching this. I haven't done a message like this in a while. And uh think it's a real good time to start back. Because I'm seeing a lot of prophecies and a lot of things where people was interpreting Revelation. This ain't a time to be interpreting Revelation. This is time to come to God. Put God first because it don't matter what that book of Revelation says, ladies and gentlemen. It matters where your heart lies with God because in the end of times, we don't we ain't got nothing to worry about. We got God. Don't worry about when He's coming. Just worry about being ready when He gets here. God bless you all, each and every one of y'all. Like, share this, and uh, and on the YouTube channel right down there, Hit the bell and subscribe because I will have more messages in the days, weeks, and months to come. God bless you. Have a wonderful night.